Hi everybody, welcome to Creative Studio Lumbicious. My name is Nancy and today we're going to create the boxer pencil topper together. So join me in this tutorial. And uh, let's start. Oh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, make sure you do so, so you won't miss any of my uh, future tutorials uh, slash uploads. Uh, click the bell button next to the subscribe uh, button uh, to receive a notification so you won't miss anything at all. Uh, thank you for that. And let's start with the boxer pencil topper. We're going to create uh, the ears first. Uh, you do have to mirror the second ear, but we're going to start with the first ear. I will turn my loom. Make sure your loom is in offset like this. Grab your main body color that will be brown for me. We need single bands and we're going to double loop the entire ear. So simply follow me with single double looped bands. We go down four times in the center. There we go, one diagonally here, and one on the opposite side. Everything is double looped. One down here, and diagonally there. Now go down on the left three times with a single double looped. And one diagonally here. Cap off with a single band. Wrap it around four times here. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to place the horizontal bands. A single double loop here. And a single band double loop shaped in a triangle here like this this will be one ear you have to mirror the other but i will show you how to mirror it you have to place it on your loom like this so it's, it's exactly the same but mirrored we're going to loom this one and you have to place it on your other loom like this so pause the video if you have trouble mirroring things, simply place it like this. Yes? Okay. Let's continue with this ear. Go behind that cap band, grab those bands and move over, and simply go behind your place horizontal bands. Then go up in the center, grab the top two here, like this, grab those, grab those, the center, again, you have to place this last, uh, and it really doesn't matter if you don't place it last but it looks a little bit better if you do it like this in this order Loom the last double looped band grab a tying off band tie this off so it won't fall apart remove this carefully from your loom and of course create the second ear Mirror it, so you have two ears, I already created mine of course, so I have two uh, ears and the one, one of them, this one is mirrored to this one. So put it aside for now, and uh, just rewind my video to see how to mirror the ear. And now we're going to start with the top of the head, we need two bands at a time now. So grab your main body color and place them in this order. Two bands all the time. Now 
Now grip your white bands, also two bands at a time. That can happen, of course. And now your brown bands again to place them diagonally. Grab two brown bands again, create a triangle here and a triangle there, like this. Um, grab a single white band, wrap it around four times around this pack here. One, two, three, four. That will be the cap band. And now I do have to check. Can we do this already? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I did place the ears uh, wrong on this uh, prototype, so I have to think of a way to place it correctly. Yeah, we can attach it before we even loom, I guess. Yes, we can. So also grab your ears, grab this one with a little bump. It slightly curves slightly curves in this direction and it has a little bit of a bump on the right side this is the other one it's curved in the opposite direction and has the bump on the left make sure you grab this one and stick your hook through from the front to the back um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we're going to place this ear on that back here before we loom anything. Otherwise, it will look a little bit strange. Like this. Now grab the other ear. We're going to place that on the opposite side. From the back to the front. Get your hook through there and place it on this back. Like this, and now we can loom the top of the boxer head. So go behind your cap band, loom over the bands you place there in order. You can loom the center entirely. I missed one there. Loom up the sides. You can remove those tie-in bands already if you want to, I will leave them there for now. Yay, this is so much better. I placed my ears on my prototype after I loomed. And that really looks weird. Make sure you go behind all those bands. Also double looped ear bands and the horizontal band and only grab the bottom two loops and loom over. Grab three tie-in bands and tie off the top of the head. Then we can continue with the middle portion of the head. Carefully remove this from your loom. I do recommend you to remove those tying bands from the ears already. Because they might be in the way. So you won't make a mistake with the other tying bands unless you use another color. Then leave it. So I will stick my hook through this ear here a tiny bit and push it downwards like this. Otherwise it will be on the side. So stick your hook through that double looped band you place onto the back and pull upwards on that band. So the ear will come down and put this aside for now. This will be the top of the boxer head. There we go. Now we're going to place the middle portion and that will be um, well, slightly different from my other uh, pencil toppers. Two bands at a time. Grab your brown main body color. First we're going to place the hole again. 
that's the same on every tutorial. I might variate with color though, but the, this is really basic shaping. Otherwise, we can't stick a, a pencil through the pencil topper. Two bends at a time. There we go. Mm, grab your white bands, place two in the center row. Now grab three, three white bands, place them there, and two more in front of that. The rest will, will be with um, black bands, also two, two black bands at a time, two here, two here, also on the opposite side. Two bands and place them also diagonally. Hmm, I forgot my round black bands. I will need to grab those. But first, we're going to place the horizontal bands. Also, two bands at a time here. Can we do that already? Or do I have to place the extension first? Th this is what I did differently here, but. It's already a week ago, so I kind of forgot how I did it. Um, yeah, we're going to place the extension first, so we need to create an extension first. D don't put any horizontal bands on yet. Simply grab your black bands again, two at a time. Place two here, two black bands here. Grab a single black band, wrap it around four times. Three, four. This will be an extension. You need two of those, so make two of them. Simply loom this. This will be a tiny extension for his mouth, instead of putting bands around here. So, um, yeah, we're going to tie this off. Tie off and create an another set like this. So simply two black bands, two black bands again, cap off with a single black band by wrapping it around four times. Remove this from your loom. This will be a tiny extension we're going to place um, before we loom anything. So have you hooked through the cap bands? Have it like that. I, I will turn my loom, lift up these bands and slide over that cap band onto there. This really is a little bit different. But we really need this extension. Now stick your hook through. Yes, yeah, stick your hook through the extension here. Make sure your hook is true correctly, so you have all the loops. Just follow the tying band in there, so you have all the loops on your hook. And now I do have to check if I just slide those over the bands, or yeah, I just place them on the bottom. Yeah. Then we need to place this. This is a little bit difficult. You have to remove. These bands, lift those up and slide this extension onto there and replace. This will look a bit weird, but it will look okay after we loom this. So just leave it like this. It looks like this on the extension. This is correct. We have to do this on the opposite side as well. I made an extension also, so create a second extension. I just forgot to tie this off. Stick your hook through the cap band. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but on the opposite side. So slide the cap band onto there. Replace. 
we also have to do the same thing here so stick your hook through that extension make sure it's true correctly and lift up those bands this really is a little bit tricky to do so but uh, I have to I have to do this differently the other way around otherwise this won't work with me um, Man, this really is different because it's on the opposite side. And those bands are. Oh, come on. You stay on there. This really is tricky because it's quite tight. Get it through. Come on. Yes. And replace also like this it is tricky but you can manage and it will look so much better so please try to do it like this and if you really can't manage simply wrap around two black bands two times on your hook and slide it onto those bands here then if you can't do this extension but it will look so much better for a boxer, so please uh, try to do it like this. Um, now we're going to place the horizontal bands, two bands at a time. Black here, two more here, and again two black bands to shape. Another triangle here. Now we're going to create the eyes. Grab your eye color bands. Mine will be blue. Wrap that around twice. A single black band wrapped around four times. Reclaim your eye color band and wrap it around twice again. Grab your main body color. Double loop that band. And slide all these bands onto there in order and this will be the eye of the boxer like this we're going to place that I will turn my loom again for this on the fourth pack on the side to the fifth in the center row like this Create a second eye and place it on the opposite side. I already did, of course, I just do that to speed up my tutorials a tiny bit. But it's exactly the same, of course. So simply create a second eye and place it on the opposite side. So your project should look like this. Now I need my round bands. Where are you guys? Then grab a single... Oh, those are my round bands. Wrong tech. Here they are. I love to use the round bands from Rainbow Loom as noses, so grab a single black band or a single uh, round black band, wrap it around four times to create a nose here. One, two, three, four. There we go. And this will be the bottom jaw, uh, middle portion of the jaw. So we can loom. I also forgot my pink bands for the bottom jaw. Um, yes, let's do this, guys. So go behind. Grab the top two bands, loom over. The next set, loom over. And the center, you can loom up the center until you reach the eyes, so two 
twist up here. There's a hair for my dog in between. Stop looming after this. This is a bit tricky, but make sure you go behind all the bands here. Also that extension, only grab the bottom two. Same on the opposite side. Is this really is a bit tricky? I even have to tilt my little my loom. Oh, I'm stuck in between the bands now. Yes, only the bottom two. Same here. This will be a little bit tight because of that extension. Just simply grab the bottom two loops and loom over. Like that extension isn't there. Um, now grab the top of your head. You did pull the ears down, I guess. So uh, this is the top and this is the bottom. Have it like this and stick your hook through the first set of loops in the center. There basically is a hole. Make sure your hook is through correctly so you have two wide loops on each side of your hook. It's upside down on your hook with the ears facing towards you. Grab those two bands inside here, pull them upwards, slide over that head, still have that head upside down, and then a loom. Get inside of here, grab the top two loops, loom over, and the next two. Then we can continue looming up the sides. The head is still upside down. It's supposed to be like that. Move upwards. Move upwards. Diagonally. And diagonally here. Now we're going to remove some part of the snout. You can leave that head just there. That's okay. Um, now we do have to uh, flip this over. I will remove another portion of the head. So this is like upside down and now we have to flip it over and attach those three loose ends to those three pegs here. I always start in the center, or maybe not always, but it's easiest to attach. Go behind all those bends here. I can't see camera is right on top, but not my eyes. <laughs> so, move over these, attach these bands into this bag here. That ear might be in the way a tiny bit. Move over, and the final set here. Make sure you stick your hook through correctly. I am missing one loop here. Yes. Get that onto there and loom the final set. Remove those old tying bands and you can reuse them to tie off this or grab some new ones. But I will remove them already, we don't need it to be there anymore. So there we go. And then we can remove the boxer from the loom. You can also remove the tying bands on the extension, just so you won't make any mistake yourself. It won't come off. And I can show you how it looks now. I think this is just... I'm going to adjust that nose a tiny bit. And pull a bit on those bands here because that head is quite tight now. Yeah. And now I can show you guys this extension really make uh, made his... Yeah, well, his, his mouth look a little bit bigger. You can see here, 
and this, this really looks better than just a chunk of bands uh, placed there. So, um, I will adjust the ears later, I guess. Or shall I do that now? Yeah, in order to get those ears quite tight uh, to uh, the head, we can adjust it now already. So grab a single band of your main body color. Uh, use well, this set. It doesn't really matter what set, but grab some bands there. Pull through that single band. Create a slip knot. Pull tight. Then we can actually a little bit stick your hook through all those bands here in order to grab that single band. Try to maneuver it through. I think I lost it already. <laughs> Try to maneuver it through to the opposite side so we can tie those ears. Now I have it. Then stick your hook through the set here, approximately the same set. I'm not even sure if I'm grabbing the same set or the same bands, doesn't really matter. Pull through that single band there also. And now if you pull tight, those ears will stay in place. You can also do this as last, but you can also do it right now. Stick your hook through some bands there. I have way too many bands here. It doesn't really matter how you pull it through. This is so tricky. I have way too many bands there. I don't get it. Why? And again, yes, now I have it. Uh, you actually need a C clip. Why can't I? Why don't I have one here? I just grab one from the package. You need a C clip to get that stuck inside. So simply clip that around the band you just and on some other bands. You won't see this because we will add another layer and those ears will be nice and tight on the side of your boxer's head. So put this aside for now and then we're going to loom the final part, the bottom jaw, two bands at a time of your main body color, two here. So there are, there are only a few things differently than my own, than my other designs. Now we're going to create the hole again, so diagonally, diagonally here, go down. This all two bands. Now place your horizontal band here, two main body color bands also there. Shape that triangle. Um, now grab two black bands. This is what I did wrong on my prototype. I turned this into white, but it has to be black. So these are two black bands. And we do need white, but not on the sides. Place two white bands in the center. And the rest will be double loop, so I will turn my loom for this. A single white band double looped here. And the rest will be with black bands. So a single black double looped here. And one diagonally. And the same thing on the opposite side. One 
here. And one diagonally here. And grab a single black band. Grab that around four times. One, two, three, four. Grab a single black band. Make a triangle. Double loop it. Now grab two black bands, place them here, so this will be a little bit more loose. Um, now we have to create the tongue. So grab your pink bands, you don't need that much. Two bands here, two bands again, and cap off with a single pink band by wrapping it around three times. One, two, three. You can actually loom the tongue already. So simply loom up and leave it on your loom for now. We will need it later though. And let us continue with the bottom jaw. It's very tiny. So go behind your cap band. Grab the first double looped band you come across and loom over. Grab the second, loom over. And loom until there. Now grab your tongue. Get it on to here. And grab the top two bands you come across. I only have one. This is so tricky for me to see. I need two of you, not just one. Now I have way too many. <laughs> yes, I have two. Loom diagonally. And the other two also diagonally. And loom up the sides once. And then we will attach the top of the head. So grab the top of the head. We're also always attaching it right beneath the eyes. So grab these two loops and the bottom two. This also is a little bit tricky. Make sure not to grab the horizontal bands. But really grab these two and not that extension. You are inside the same stitch where the extension is put on. But you need the top two and the bottom two loops. You can actually place it around here. Like this. And loom over that set there. It doesn't matter if it comes off. Uh, same thing on the opposite side. The top two loops and find the bottom two loops. Make sure you have them around your hook. Attach it around this peg. And also loom the bottom two bands. Then we can continue looming further. Loom diagonally. So on the opposite side. Make sure you go behind all those bands. And then remove part of the bottom jaw, otherwise it won't stretch that far. This one looks so much better instead of the white at the bottom jaw. So remove part of the head there. And the final step will be attaching those three loose ends to those three bags. So stick your hook through those sets there. And attach it and loom over the last set. Same thing on the opposite sides. Make sure your hook is through correctly. When I started looming, I really didn't understand what happened. But if you stick your hook through, like this, I will show you guys for this time. 
and you will remove this tying band, everything will come loose. You really have to follow the tying band and see if you have all the bands on your hook correctly. Just a tip. Otherwise it will fall apart. And that's a waste of your work. The other set side this is a bit tricky because of those ears but you can manage make sure you go behind all those bands grab the bottom two and a loom over remove the tying bands you don't need them anymore and simply tie off with the set you just loomed last. So stick your hook through, pull the bottom two loops through the top two and pull tight. Do this with every set. Uh, try not to make those bands curl too much. Nah, but you mostly can't do anything about it. So. tight also and carefully remove this cutie from your loom yes oh this is so so much better than my prototype pull a bit on the tongue Get it more outwards. Yes, this is way better than I did with my prototype. Yes, this is actually way better. The ear is stuck in between a tiny bit. Uh, so the only thing uh, there is left to do is hiding those uh, bands we tied off with inside the head. So stick your hook inside the mouth here and find your way to the back of your pencil topper and pull it through pull it tight a tiny bit same thing for the center set in the center i think i already lost the bands to be honest well, it's inside somewhat, so again, same thing here. This is random, so just pull through those bands randomly. Don't have to be uh, very neat or anything like that. I have a black band around here. I really don't need so kind of shape your loomed boxer and grab a pencil let me grab mine there we go maneuver that pencil through and there you have, you can push a bit on those ears to get it more of a round shape. Uh, I have to hide these bands better, but I will do that uh, later. Oh, this is so awesome. This is awesome. Yes, I like uh, with black at the bottom better, a tiny bit of white. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this boxer pencil topper tutorial. And... Um, well, if you do, uh, thumbs up, please, so I can uh, see you enjoy this video. And if you have suggestion or a comment or want to share anything with me, uh, please write that below in the comments. Um, I will do my best to respond as quickly as possible. And yes, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Subscribe if you haven't done it already. And have fun. Be creative. See you guys. Bye.